Hey guys, I hope you're having a good morning so far. I just kind of wanted to go over today's lesson with you myself and do a couple practice problems. It's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be very similar to what we did yesterday. The only difference is that we're going to be doing a two by two problem versus a two by one. You should have gotten the multiplication practice page number one, and we're going to do a couple problems together, and then I will let you do the rest of them on your own. So let me go ahead and bring up the first problem. All right, like I said, the biggest difference is that it's a two by two. So because it is a two digit by two digit number, we're gonna need a two by two array. And so you can see the boxes there, you see the two by two. And so what we're gonna do is first divide it up into expanded form, which you can already see there on the page. It's 20 and three, 10 and five. So remember, the whole point of this is called area model, so all you have to do is find the area of each square. So the first square we see is 10 and 20. So 10 times 20 may be harder, but from our lesson yesterday, we learned we can take away those zeros. So 10 times 20 is really 200. Then we go on to our next square. We see it's a three, and then we can backtrack over here to that 10. So we have three times 10 is 30. Then we're gonna go down and do the bottom row. So we have 20 and we have five, which gets us 1, 2 times 5 is 10, add that 0 is 100, then 5 times 3 is 15. Once we filled in all of the boxes on our array, we're going to go ahead and add them together. So I kind of like to group mine by similar place value, so I see the 200 plus the 100 plus the 30 plus the 15, add them all together, our answer would be C, 345. I'm gonna go ahead and do another problem, couple problems with you, and then today and tomorrow, you're gonna be doing a lot of practice with this model. It should be pretty simple, because the next week when we introduce partial products, you'll know where most of the numbers go come from. So let me go ahead and bring up the next problem. So remember, you should be doing this along with me. That way, you're doing it, and then you're watching me do it as well. And if you have any questions, I'm sure that our um, substitute would be more than well happy to help you. But let's go ahead and look at this one. Remember, because it's a two by two, that means we need two and two. So now, we're gonna separate it by expanded form. We have 47, which turns into 40 and seven. Then we have 19, which is 10 and nine. So because it's the area model, all we have to do is find the area of each square. So the first problem is 40 times 10. You kind of put a little um, times if it helps you remember. But 40 times 10, which is four times one, adding your two zeros. Then 10 times seven, because this number would basically be the same here. 10 times seven, which is 70. Then we're gonna go down to our bottom row, so that 40 kind of goes right down. It's the same over here. Because remember, squares, they would move down. 40 times nine, or four times nine, is 36, add the zero. Nine times seven is 63. Then our final step is to take all those numbers that we just multiplied and add them together to get our total. So 400 plus 360. Okay, so sorry, what got interrupted real quick. So 400 plus 360 plus 70 plus 63. So go ahead, like I said, I like to add those up by place value. So go ahead and start with your ones, carry down that three. Six plus six plus seven, so it's 12 plus seven more would be 19. Add four plus three is seven, plus one more is eight. So our answer would be A, 3,893. Remember, you can always do the inverse if you wanted to, which would be division. We haven't quite got to that yet, but if you're advanced enough, you could go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and bring up the last problem we're gonna do together. So this problem is 37 times 26. Again, we're focusing just on a two by two. So separate out 37 by its place value. So we have 30 in the tens place and seven in the ones place. Then we have a 20 in the tens place and a six. So we're gonna work on just going across in those squares and putting in our numbers. So we have 30 times 20. So we have three times two, which is six and we're gonna add in two zeros. Then we have 30 times, I'm sorry, 20 times seven, which is two times seven, add in one zero, 140. 30 times six, because I'm moving this number kind of down here so you can kind of see. So 30 times six, which is three times six, 118, add in my zero, 
and then 7, which is the same down here, 7 times 6 is 42. So once I've found all those numbers, and hopefully you have figured out kind of the pattern I'm going through, and it's very simple once you get through that pattern. Now we're going to go ahead and add everything together. So 600, 140, 180, and 42. So 0, 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 4 more is 16. Carry my 1, 6, 7, 8, 9. Our answer is C, 962. All right, I think that should be good for now. I'm going to let you do the remaining three poems on your own. Hopefully you have a pretty good understanding. You're going to get a lot of practice with it this week. If for some reason you still aren't having a hard time, you can always go back and watch this video again. Or I'm sure you can ask the sub and she'd be more than willing to show you. It's pretty easy once you get going. And I think the more practice you have, the better you're going to get at it. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on Tuesday.